welcome back ladies and gentlemen for TGN and the smoking Android my name is Jared and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the leaked jelly bean ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300 and before you go ahead and ask in the comments below no no and no this is not available for your Verizon AT&T T-Mobile Sprint or any other version other than an international Samsung Galaxy S3. If you try to flash this, it will brick your device. So please don't ask in the comments below because I will not respond to that question. It has been answered right now. Uh, furthermore, before we jump in, Feriab, the nice young gentleman that's actually uh, brought this uh, firmware for us all to flash, um, actually explicitly states in his instructions, in his flashing instructions, to be running an original stock ROM. Whether that means an official firmware or just a rooted stock ROM, I'm not too sure. And the reason behind that is because um, a little while ago I actually did a video that I was pitting the um, international versus the uh, North American uh, against each other. And I wanted to make sure that my Samsung Galaxy S3 was unrooted and running a completely stock firmware. So it's been unrooted since and um, all I did was quickly root it using CF root um, to be able to flash this. So anyways, um, you know, flash it at your own risk. I am not responsible and I will not try and help you, unfortunately, if you do happen to flash this and something happens. Um, probably best to ask in the forums. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump in. Um, I haven't, I've been playing with this for about, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes now, and I haven't been able to notice any sort of performance changes just because in its ice cream sandwich state, um, this is an incredibly fast ROM, as all of you know. I mean, it's it's it was or ROM. I'm sorry, uh, device and ROM. I guess um, you know they, they Samsung had already taken huge, huge steps to make it so smooth and fluid. Um, in fact, a lot of reviewers were saying that in its stock form, um, it, it is like the the fastest and smoothest device you could find out there. No stuttering, nothing like that, right? Uh, but Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the um, other changes that they've made. Now, we'll go ahead and pull down the notification tray here. And you'll notice that it is now Jelly Bean themed. So, of course, you've got your clock in the top left-hand corner there. Uh, you've got your um, settings button top right-hand corner. One thing I haven't been able to tell because I don't really rock stock firmwares or ROMs on my devices too often until there's obviously some really, really great, um, you know, custom ROM out there. Then I'll flash that immediately. So, I can't remember whether or not all of these toggles were there and more specifically the driving mode and the notifications if they were already there please let me know in the comments below i just cannot remember and i'm sure some of you can um, uh, have a little bit of uh, sympathy for me there because i mean if as soon as you get this if you're into rooting obviously you're going to root it and throw on a custom rom like cm10 or something like that right and at that point who knows what was changed right uh so anyways moving on from there as you can see we've got the uh, jelly bean notification tray pull down um and of course if i had some notifications yes the two finger pull down of those particular notifications does work so that's great to see uh okay now getting out of the uh, notification tray um let's go ahead into the applications so one thing I noticed right away is that, well, first of all, the first thing I noticed after it finished booting up and obviously going through the, uh, the um, sort of little instruction steps that it shows you is that it actually has a bunch of updates and application updates for you. So go ahead and download that and I'll explain why a little bit further. But one thing you'll notice right away after downloading the updates is that the maps icon has now changed. As you can see there, it's, um, it's a little bit different and um, I think it looks pretty. Now, uh, if we're going to get out of there, and hopefully I can refocus so it's nice and smooth for you guys. All right, uh, we'll move over to the right a little bit. And I noticed there's another application in here that we don't normally see, which is WLAN test. Opening that up, I think it's just an engineering um, uh, application, as you can see here, w uh, WLAN test engineering mode. So this isn't really for us. This doesn't really help us. I'm sure some of the uh, more advanced expert users out there know what to do with this. Myself personally, no clue. So we'll go ahead and get out of there because this is useless to someone like me. And um, we're gonna go ahead and move on to, um, well, while we're in here, let's go ahead and take a look at the widgets. See if there's any new widgets. I haven't been able to find any new widgets. Um, if you see any new widgets here, you know, let me know in the comments below. I would love to know, but I can't seem to remember if or, or, or remember all the stock widgets or if there's anything new. It actually looks, if you can see here and here, like there's a couple of widgets that are missing. I don't know why they're ghosted out. Maybe that's another thing you guys can explain to me in the comments below. Um, so anyways, and yes, Google Now does work, but we'll get to that in just a minute here. So uh, obviously no new widgets. 
Uh, now, something I did notice right away is that it doesn't actually have any changes or modifications to the TouchWiz launcher. Um, there is no sort of AOSP jelly bean, um, you know, capabilities. Like, for instance, if I was to grab this application here and try and move it around, as you can see in some of the past videos, or at least on the uh, Galaxy Nexus, it'll start moving things around for you and resizing and doing whatever. It doesn't do that. Um, also, you can't, um, uh, they haven't changed the method on how to uh, create folders, which is really disappointing to see. Keeping in mind, this is a leaked build. So by no means does this say, uh, uh, tell us that this is going to be the final version, right? These things may be added in later on. Who knows, maybe this is the final version. Again, it's a leaked build, so it's anybody guess right uh, so but it was a, bit, a bit disappointing to see even at this stage there's been no changes to the launcher um, you know we're not able to move anything around aren't able to create folders which is really silly I think they should have at least you know given us given us some of those um, some of those abilities uh, found in, in, in Jelly Bean um, now if we're gonna go ahead and jump into the settings now where a lot of the magic happens um, one thing I also did notice is that the Wi-Fi seems to be turning itself off at least for me it's turning itself off by itself um, I've actually turned it on twice um, because it turned itself off, so I'm not really sure uh, what's going on there with that. But if we're going to go head down and look through the, some of the settings, um, I'll tell you right now, I went through all the settings and I'll point out the ones that are new to me at least, at least if maybe they've been there, maybe they weren't there before in, uh, in previous firmware updates to the ice cream sandwich. But one thing I noticed right away is that the voice recording LED indicator has now been added. So if you are doing any sort of voice recording during a phone conversation or anything like that, uh, the LED indicator will light up. I'm going to assume it's red. I haven't tested it out myself, but it would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Um, again, that could be a feature that has been in the previous ice cream sandwich builds of uh, this particular phone, um, but I don't remember because I don't rock stock, so yeah, take that as you will. Um, so we'll go ahead, and one thing I noticed right away was dormant mode, so we'll go ahead and click on dormant mode, and just reading it there, it says, when this mode is enabled, the features you select will be disabled. You will only receive notifications of incoming calls from people on your allowed list, and as you can see, some of the grayed out options there, uh, disable incoming calls, disable notifications, disable alarm and timer, disable LED indicator, and of course, you can set the times and allowed contacts, which I thought was kind of a neat little application uh, that they've included in this device, however, or firmware, I'm sorry, however, I I can't remember if this again was part of an ice cream sandwich update um, you know that's available right now on a stock firmware so uh, again take that as you will I, I again I, I, I'm sorry but I just I don't rock stock so I can't remember specifically if that's an ice cream sandwich feature or not all right now moving on to Google now uh, just to prove that it does in fact work what time is it back to work what time is it that's fantastic let's try that again What's the weather like outside? Pretty, pretty basic there. So there's the weather. Um, of course, you just need to change, you know, the languages, and it'll probably do the voice talk back to you, um, as we all know. But it does work. One thing um, that you'll notice when you first fire it up is it'll say that your location data is not available, um, even though you have, you know, your GPS and, and and data turned on and everything like that, and location services all turned on. Um, obviously, that's just a little bug that's happening right now because, again, this is a leaked build, so uh, there are going to be a bunch of things that aren't working. Now, in order to turn on or even enable Google now, um, first thing I noticed when I fired it up, uh, when I fired, when the, when the device booted on, I went in there, you know, the, the voice search works, but the Google Now wasn't turned on, and I couldn't even find it in the uh, settings, you know, how you click on it, and then you go into settings there. It wasn't there. And so I said to myself, hmm, maybe it's time to update these applications that it's uh, asking me to update. So I updated the applications, and of course, like like I mentioned before, you know, one of them being the um, the new maps icon, things like that. Um, then it, 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 I, I updated the applications, uh, went back into the voice search, went to settings, and of course Google Now was now available for me to enable, and uh, we kind of just went from there. So that's just a bit of a, of a side note for you guys if you're wondering um, who, where Google Now is. One thing I did find a little bit strange though, we'll just go ahead and jump back into settings here, and we're going to go down to security, if I can find it, there it is. You'll notice that we don't have face unlock as an option for our security. So that was a bit disappointing, you know, slide, we got motion, pattern, pin, password, none, but where's face unlock, right? Um, so I was a bit concerned to see that. I'm really hoping that they're going to add that um, in the final version that they're going to uh, release publicly. So that's, again, something to keep in mind if uh, that is something that you do want. 
Now something else I noticed when I opened up the uh, internet browser is that the new Google Handwrite is actually enabled by default which was a little strange to me, you know, uh, normally you would have to go into more or wherever your um, your uh, settings are, if I could even figure out how to get back into settings and then you would enable it uh, that way. Uh, however, it seems to have been enabled by default. Oh, here it is. So we'll go into settings here. And um, as you can see, handwrite enabled. This is, it was default enabled uh, as soon as I launched the browser application. And um, while we're talking about the browser application, um, I actually found it to be a little bit, um, slow um, I don't know what to tell you like if I click more you'll see that kind of chunk down there a little bit of lag click back up and you can see it kind of stuttering a bit there um, that was a bit surprising to me you know I am rocking Wi-Fi so there shouldn't be any reason why any latency issues and of course this is the Samsung Galaxy S3 with the Exynos processor so it should be able to handle that like no problem right um, so that was a bit odd but um, either way that's just you know something else to note so uh, we'll go ahead and back out of there. Now the last thing I wanted to do was um, just a little uh, little benchmark test for you guys because I know some of you are probably wondering, well, what's the benchmarks like with Jelly Bean, even the leaked version um, on the Samsung Galaxy S3. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll run a full benchmark here. I'm not even going to bother boring you guys with, uh, with this, you know, you guys don't have to watch the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the video now and we'll come right back as soon as it's finished and we'll look at the results. All right, so we're back and we've completed our um, little benchmark there. And as you can see, we've got a score of 48-44. Um, not very impressive. I'm actually not impressed at all. I'll go ahead and hold up the uh, results so you guys can see the uh, the numbers here. And as you can see, we've got uh, the you know the total being uh, 4844 with a CPU of 12 uh, 1218. Uh, I'm sorry, 12815. And uh, of course, you can see the memory and the 3D wasn't that great either. So a bit disappointing in terms of benchmarks uh, results. However, again, it's a leaked build, so take it as you will. Um, anyways, guys, that is it for now. I just wanted to show you guys, give you a little update, a little look into the future of what we can expect to see uh, with the official Jelly Bean uh, firmware update from Samsung. That's it for now. For TGN and Smoking Android, my name's Jared. If you like this video, please do uh, please show me that you liked it by clicking the like button down below. And you might want to consider subscribing to me for more videos like this in the future. But until next time, we shall see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.